Hello, my name is Mary Ann Eggett, and I'm a Solutions Consultant with Mainline Information Systems. And this is the second part of a series talking about the IBM Z server and why it's perfect for your on-premise cloud. About 94% of the enterprises today have implemented something in the cloud. About 67% have actually implemented workload in multiple clouds. So the container environment is growing in the cloud, but our developers have had a challenge. And the challenge is um, having the implementation and deployment of my containers here in multiple clouds and being able to create that interconnectivity and in the network environment for the containers and the multiple clouds to integrate together. So, in the past years, a op new open source project developed a Kubernetes open source deliverable. Kubernetes provides utilities and tools to support this multi-container environment. One of the um, solutions that we will be talking about today is the Red Hat OpenShift. Red Hat OpenShift is actually built on the Kubernetes. But Red Hat OpenShift offers an enterprise uh, support for this environment, just like it did with the Linux operating system. So now, um, uh, the Red Hat OpenShift uh, actually enhances the environment uh, to make it uh, enterprise ready, including the networks uh, that you needed, um, some container registry, and so on and so forth, all making this easy for your environment to implement this uh, containers and to be able to manage this environment. So, IBM purchased Red Hat. So they saw the advantage, uh, this is one of the advantages. So they have implemented something called IBM Cloud Packs. Now what is an IBM Cloud Pack? Um, basically it is IBM containerizing their middleware. So one of the first Cloud Packs is coming out is the Cloud Pack for Applications which includes some of their middleware products, such as their mobile, uh, uh, WebSphere, um, WebSphere Liberty, um, is going to be included in the Cloud Pack uh, for uh, um, applications. So what's the advantage now of the Cloud Pack? So the Cloud Pack here contains the Kubernetes and the OpenShift. So this is built on uh, the Red Hat OpenShift. What the IBM Cloud Pack offers is besides the fact that it uh, does um, containerize uh, some of the middleware products, it also uh, comes out with a pre-integrated cloud, a pre-integrated setup. And what it's designed for is you've implemented the Cloud Pack for your cloud environment. And now, our, back to our um, application developers, IBM is proj projecting an 84% savings in time for our developers instead of developing and trying to integrate this, they're just deploying and uh, testing and deploying their containers within that Cloud Pack implementation. So what does that mean also? It means a projected 75% reduction in cost for our operations of this cloud environment. Very significant. But now, that's available on any platform. So why would you run this 
on IBM Z. So think about the purpose that containers are growing is because of that continuous innovation and that continuous um, deployment for agile application development. And we envision that this is going to grow and possibly even explode. And as it explodes, your need for capacity to run your containers will also explode. And here comes the IBM Z. One big advantage is the scalability of the IBM Z. IBM Z server is projected to run 2.4 million containers. In one single IBM Z server. So you can imagine the reduced in operations complexity. Also, the floor space costs, the heating and cooling, your whole data center now will be able to run within a Z, one single Z server. So that is, besides all of these other wonderful things that we talked about, the scalability of your cloud on-premise environment here on an IBM Z server, I hopefully, I've explained the benefits why you would want your on-premise cloud to run on an IBM Z server. Thank you.